Ayoti, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Ian. Uh, I just want to introduce you briefly to those who are listening and watching as the CEO of WHERE. We are so grateful for your, well, you coming on Automating the Chain. As you know, we're very interested in what you're doing, uh, your technology, where you're going from a growth perspective. So please tell us a little bit more about you, where you, how you started the company and really what is exciting about your technology. Yeah, so let's see, I started my career um, back in, I don't know, it's a while ago now, but I started flying helicopters. <laughs> and um, so I've been kind of around aviation um, and technology my whole life. Um, I kind of entered the drone industry back in 2013 and the drone industry really was focused on and still to this day really is focused on mainly industries that are outdoors so like cons helping construction companies agriculture oil and gas linear infrastructure utilities etc um, all of those have assets outdoors and so recently with um, technological developments on drones, AI and machine learning, and of course, cloud computing and IoT devices, you know, all of those things mixed together, uh, we've been able to switch focus and develop solutions for industries that primarily operate indoors. And so we uh, at WARE, uh, I'm the co-founder of WARE, um, we um, started the company to help warehouses operate more efficiently. And so we deploy fleets of autonomous drones, self-flying autonomous drones inside of warehouses to automate the tracking of warehouse inventory. And it's, you know, typically been just this process that hasn't changed for decades. It's, it's a bunch of humans, you know, warehouses uh, release teams of humans, <laughs> release. <laughs> I'm so used to saying release fleets of drones in the warehouse, but no, uh, there's teams of humans that walk around these massive warehouses that have just grown so huge. Um, and they manually count inventory with their fingers like this. They point at it and they use like, you know, one, two, three, four, and then they multiply the bottom row of a, of a you know, on a pallet of boxes and then they count it that way. And the world's biggest and largest brands track their inventory that way. State of the art tech. And so we come in and we say, we, there's got to be a better way. Um, and that's where the drones come in. They're, they're much more flexible. They're faster. They're cheaper. The, they don't get tired. They, they're more reliable, et cetera. Um, and, you know, combining the, the drone imagery to put that camera in XYZ coordinates and capture those imagery, uh, that imagery that we need, um, we apply then machine learning and different types of, of processing um, to bubble up the insights for our customers. Um, so that's kind of the gist of what we're doing uh, and why we're doing it now. That's really interesting. And as I said to you before, uh, when we ha had an initial chat, I, I was a drone analyst when it was first, you know, coming out of the military and industrial complex to the commercial industry. And I know you've had a podcast, which is all about commercial drones. Can you tell us a little bit about where we are from a... I mean, let's look at it from a market perspective. Where are we right now for the industrial leaders out there who are just thinking, okay, let's step back for a moment. You know, how much have we progressed? How useful is it today? How, what are the unit economics? So how many drones can a company now buy? How accessible is it? You know, um, how, what are the costs to acquire such a technology? Can you tell us a little bit more from a high level, from a market perspective? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, specifically um, in terms of warehousing, supply chain, logistics, um, you know, uh, drone delivery is one of those things um, that a lot of folks get really excited about. Um, it's not quite there yet, like en masse. Um, so we'll kind of gloss over that. It's basically stymied by a bunch of regulations, um, you know, to operate a drone beyond line of sight. Uh, in terms of just like our technology and deploying drones inside a facility to do various tasks, specifically counting inventory, um, it, the technology is finally there. Um, these drones now are capable um, of flying autonomously indoors without GPS signal. So typically drones, um, you know, the state of the art would be flying around outside. It has access to GPS, which can put it in an XYZ coordinate at any point in the world. You just give it a command and it says, okay, cool. I know where I am and I know how to get there. So I'll just go there with a, str with a straight line, a linear, um, linear path. And for us, when you stick a drone in a warehouse, you have no, no GPS. So 
you kind of have to develop your own in, internal indoor GPS system or like a localization system as we would call it. Uh, fortunately, there are drone manufacturers out there, uh, specifically our partner Skydio. Uh, they're an American company. They're based down in uh, Silicon Valley, just down the road from us uh, in Redwood City, and they make the world's smartest drone which sounds a little bit silly to say, but it's true. Um, this drone is like a flying graphics card, literally. Uh, it's got multiple cameras on it, so it ingests video data around it constantly as it's flying and then recreates its environment in 3D in its drone brain. So what that, what that means is that it can avoid obstacles. It has really strong in, in built-in localization for us to give it commands on where to go inside of a warehouse. Uh, and then it has a SDK, a software development kit, so that we can build on its APIs and then we can create our software, our special sauce that allows that drone to understand where it is in a warehouse environment, report back where all the image, images were taken and do that safely scalably and frankly very easy um, you know the the technology that we've developed on top allows uh, warehouse operators to deploy these drones fully remotely so COVID-19 threw us for a loop um, <laughs> you know like everyone it did and you know the typical model for I guess acquiring and testing and trying out uh, warehouse robotics and automation tech is someone comes to your warehouse, boots on the ground, shows up, pulls out the magic box or whatever it is, uh, and shows it to you in person. And so that's not really possible right now. Travel restrictions, um, allowing external folks and vendors on site is just not something that's um, super flexible still uh, in our current environment. And so we've gone ahead and we do fully remote, completely remote, 100% digital, virtual, no boots on the ground deployments of our product. So the drones today that we use are so smart, we can send them in the mail to someone who's never used a drone. They open it up, they watch our little video introduction on how to fly it. And then the, the way that you fly it is you just press, press this big blue button on an app. And then the drone takes off and it flies itself. Captures all the data it needs, it lands, the data is uploaded to our servers, it's automatically processed, and then they get a report in our software that they can view. So. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you said it's blue button. It's literally like flying a toy helicopter or drone. Uh, so can anyone pick it up and use it? To know how to turn the drone on, <laughs> press the button, and the drone takes off and it flies itself. There's actually, there's not even a single, there's no other way for you to control it except pause the flight right. and avoid the flight if you need to. So it, okay. it goes on its way. It avoids any stationary obstacles. Um, Ian, not everyone's a helicopter pilot, so I have to make sure that this is <laughs> deployable. And uh, just, to, just to go back to the question of cost, yeah. now the market, how affordable is this technology now? If you're someone who owns a warehouse, let's say you're a Walmart and you're a buyer of technologies, mm -hmm. how much is it to buy one drone? And if I want to order, let's say, 5,000 drones, how much does that cost? So in terms of our technology, just to kind of brief everyone, like when you're thinking of warehouse tech um, and, and drones, we don't sell drones. We sell a full service solution. So we sell you the whole thing. It includes the drones, however many you need to meet your goals, all the data processing, all the support, maintenance, replacements, if needed, et cetera. So like we're an extension of their inventory department as we provide this service. So for, for the way that we do our pricing, uh, it's yearly pricing and it starts at $30,000 per year per facility. So if you have a facility and that's our base price, so like it goes up from there, of course. Um, if you have a huge facility with lots of pallet locations, um, if you have um, a really aggressive cycle count, like how, how much you wanna cover the frequency, if, if that's really aggressive, um, then the costs will go up. But baseline, 30,000 bucks per facility. You can pay it monthly. 2,500 bucks a month. Uh, when you compare that to the alternative, which basically is just the status quo um, and getting really slow cycle counts, maybe getting full coverage twice a year or mm -hmm. quarterly if you're lucky, our solution with drones can cycle count and cover those locations 20 times or higher than 20 times faster really than humans can. Uh, at a way lower price point. So in terms of the ROI, in terms of the payback period, we regularly see payback periods below 12 months, which is absolutely absurd. Um, but sometimes, you know, it can go up to 
36 months, so three years, four years, which is actually really, really good. Um, some warehouse technology, you see payback periods in like the six to 10 year range. Um, so the value is there tremendously. And whether it's one drone, that's a great fit for your facility or 20 drones, which is at the massive extreme for like the world's largest warehouses, um, we'll tell you how much, how much that is. And we just develop that whole solution and then give it to you. And so if you were to buy those drones off the shelf, it, they only cost a thousand bucks, but they're missing every little bit of our secret sauce, our software, our integration. It won't do anything close to what we, to what we provide. So you kind of got to go to the solutions provider um, like us. So Ian, I know that you're, you're growing this business. You're literally, you're the sales marketing, the founder, CEO. And I guess a really important question and relevant question is you've just raised quite a lot of capital. Can you tell us a little bit about that firstly and in the time we have, tell us what is exciting to you about what's coming with the capital you've raised. What is the promise you're making to your customers, your partners and your investors right now? Yes, yeah, so we just raised, um, you know, not an insignificant amount of money um, to, to supercharge the business. Um, Basically, well, let's see, it's uh, October 29th when we're recording this. So we just announced that last week. Um, and what we're using it for specifically is to just grow the team. We're small, but we're mighty. There's a saying that you never want to have a customer out to your office. And then they say, this is how many people you have. You want them to say, this is how many people you have. <laughs> you know, if you can get the difference between those two, um, you know, enunciations of the, of the phrase, but like, you know, we pride ourselves on that and we're growing the team uh, to be able to deploy faster, um, to expand even further. We can deploy anywhere in the world. It's all digital um, for how we do it. We send things in the mail, we collaborate um, so we can start expanding internationally um, and, you know, getting into your neck of the woods. Uh, <laughs> um, and so we'll use that capital for just uh, advancing our, you know, technology, uh, where we're deploying, the speed at which we can deploy, of course, the reliability of our products, new features, um, but growing the team is a big one. Um, and so we're looking for the best and the brightest minds to come join us. I mean, we're solving a really, really hard problem. It's a, a very operationally intensive technology, understanding um, you know, how our customers operate and all the different you know, challenges of, of autonomous indoor drones and then processing all that data, those hundreds of thousands, eventually millions of images that'll come through our platform um, to deliver the insights that our customers are craving. So we're really looking forward to just continuous expansion, um, but very, you know, very methodical. We, I tell something, you know, to any customer I talk to, I'm like, hey, we're not afraid to say no. Like I'm looking for a no right away because we need to focus our time and energy really in, in the folks that it matters. And, and we're not kidding ourselves. This is, you know, people are still early adopters of this tech. We're not the first to do it and we're not gonna be the last to do it, uh, but we have the best approach. So let's, let's talk about the next six to 12 months. What are you excited about? And then I just want to really give you the time back because I'm so grateful. And everyone listening here, by the way, has been, uh, we're, we've been really looking forward to this. So no, what are you excited about for the next six to 12 months? Six to 12 months. I mean, it's really just getting the technology into more and more warehouses. So we have active customers using our technology in pr real production environments every day. So it's not just pilot phase, um, you know, science experiment stuff. This is real and it's a real solution. We've done this before for other industries. Um, so our team has a ton of experience, um, you know, deploying flying robots for positive ROI. Um, and so just getting into more facilities and hearing these stories. Just the other day, we heard a story from one of our customers saying that with our technology, they uncovered and found a pallet of goods worth $200,000 of their customers. And they don't know when or if they would have found it without our tech. I'm sure they would have found it at some point, but they have no idea when. It, it, it could have taken a human, you know, six months to get the cycle all the way back to that location and, and uncover where that pallet was put. So with our system, because the coverage is so vast and so quick and, and thorough, um, they're able to just type in the license plate number and they just found it. Uh, and they know exactly where it was and they have images of, of, of everything in the platform. And 
those stories are addicting. That's why we're doing this. Like we want to hear this excitement from the customers as we deploy this technology in their facilities and they kind of, you know, see the light <laughs> as it were. And then we'll just continue, you know, developing new solutions to solve the problem, the same problem in a better way, but also new problems as they come along. So that'll be beyond 12 months. So the place to contact you, Ian, is at ian at where.com uh, and LinkedIn, is that right? Yep, ian at getware.com, U-A-R-E. Um, and then you can hit me up on LinkedIn. Um, check out our website at getware.com. We've got some uh, case study. We've got some stuff on our blog, um, getware.com slash blog. So all those channels will work. So Ian, thank you very much for your time. And we're, we're looking forward to following your story and getting you on again, I'm sure, very soon. Thank you very much, T. Really appreciate the time and nice to connect. Uh, hope you enjoyed listening. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.